Welcome to part four and the finale of how to create Facebook ads that convert in 2023 advanced guide. This is where I literally have taken the same principles I've learned in breakthrough advertising, which has made me over $50 million for my clients, not me personally, but for my clients and partners that I've grown their businesses with over $50 million in revenue. And this particular series has taken all the same principles and everything I've learned in this book. So if you haven't read Breakthrough Advertising yet, you can literally watch the series and know all the other like tactical stuff you need to deploy. Still recommend picking up the book you can get from breakthroughadvertisingbook.com and reading it just to get a little bit further understanding of some of these principles and also get a little bit more examples in that case right there. But I'm giving it to you all on this four part side. Comments below to get access to one, two, and three in terms of those videos right there. But thank you all so much for the love and support on this series, and hopefully it helps you guys out. If you're curious about why am I credible to be teaching this, again, I've done over $50 million in line revenue for my clients with Facebook ads, and we specialize with creating ads that convert, okay? And this is our signature process right here, okay? And I'm giving it to you guys to help you guys out as well. And if you're looking for someone to actually help you implement these things, then I have two options. One, you can click the link below to go have Nick Terrio run your Facebook ads, we'll actually come in your business and run the ads for you i have counts that have helped scale to literally a hundred thousand dollars a day um we've done 25 million dollars in revenue for literally just one of our clients and literally took from literally like a hundred dollars a day and spend we've you know done a lot of really cool stuff a lot of great results uh, then also have have Nick Terrio mentor you or have a small coaching circle that's perfect for people who are looking for that more one-on-one -on -one mentorship style feedback and that's where I can help you out as well. So click links below for that and before we get started hit that like button hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and let's get started. So in part three we talked about redefinition um, part two, we talked about kind of belief, desire, or desire and identification. And then part one, we also talked about like the things you have to get to before you can write your headline. Okay. Now I want to talk about mechanization, concentration, and camouflage. Um, concentration and camouflage are fairly quick and mechanization is also semi-decent, but let's start looking at what these key things are. So mechanization goes further back to how your product works. What is the mechanism you use to get me the results I want? Okay, well, let me answer this further. You must answer these three questions or your ad will fail. That is more information, images, desire, prospect is telling me more about your product. Proof, prospect wants it, but wants to know it's true. Proof your, you know, your product works in that case. And then mechanism is they want the end result, but they want to know how it works, okay? And there's three different ways to do this. There's name the mechanism, describe the mechanism, and feature the mechanism, okay? So three different ways to, to um, articulate this in that case, okay? So the easiest way to put it is, let's say for example, um, like a recipe to cook something, okay? Let's say for example, you wanna cook a, I don't know, a Philly cheesesteak, okay? So Philly cheesesteak is the mechanism, and the recipe is like the process of how to actually you know, achieve that Philly cheesesteak. Okay, so that's how I want you to look at a mechanism. The name of the mechanism is the, um, you know, the food you want to cook. And then to articulate that to people, you see to showcase how that mechanism works, showcase the recipe, what steps you have to do. Okay, so we'll go over name the mechanism. So this is name the mechanism. This is where you can just name it and then go on to beat the competitors with price of features. Okay, so let's say for example, everyone is doing broad targeting and that's the new mechanism that everyone is chasing with facebook ads so when i'm pitching a competitor or pitching a, a, a client on working with us and i already know that everyone's doing broad targeting and i'm doing broad targeting as well i'm just going to say that we're do we do broad targeting i do not need to explain it because they already know what it ex what it is because they've already done it or they've also done other stuff like that and then i'm going to beat the competitors with better features and a better price Okay, so, or like either one or without limitations. Okay, so it only works for higher levels of market sophistication. So again, going back to market sophistication, which we discussed in part one, this is only where you, you can um, do higher levels of market sophistication, okay? This is already actively seeing a mechanism of deployed across the market. Everyone's doing broad targeting. So I'm just gonna say we do broad targeting. I do not need to describe it or show how it works, okay? I can just simply name it. That's something we do. 
and then you know i can either remove limitations from it or um, increase the features of it for whatever example okay the key thing here to ask is does my prospect understand this mechanism already from other competitors ads okay so look at other competitors ads do deeper research to see like like for example if i'm if i'm pitching a, a agency client um do deeper understanding have they received uh, pitches from other like agencies also doing broad targeting in that case right there. Understanding all that is going to allow me to decide, do I need to name the mechanism or do I need to describe it or feature it? Okay. Now stage two, this is where the prospect does not understand the mechanism. Okay. This is where I need to describe the mechanism to the prospect. Okay. You build a strong, quick promise. Then you follow up the reason why you can deliver that promise. So basically in this sense right here is that, Hey, I'm going to help you you know, create Facebook. I'm going to help you build Facebook ads that convert. I'm helping you. I'm giving you a promise. Then I can follow up the reason why you can deliver that promise. I can help you build Facebook ads that convert because I leverage psychology based creatives. Here's the problem. Here's how we do it. We, you know, and then I basically say, Hey, we do desire market awareness, market sophistication, understanding all this allows us to position the ad. Then we go through, you know, um, identification, belief, mechanization desire like all that good stuff right there to make sure that we we put the right content in the ad after we have it positioned correctly to be able to help build ads that convert okay that's described the mechanism exactly like that exactly how i did that now um go back to this too is that the prospect does not understand the mechanism okay so you have to assume that the prospect has never heard your mechanism yet okay so that's a big thing there. Now, this is more the difference between describe the mechanism and feature the mechanism is, is describe the mechanism is a lower stage of marketing, uh, market sophistication, whereas feature the mechanism is a new chance for your prospect to satisfy their desire when they fail at others, a new glimpse of hope. Okay. So let's say, for example, you, you know, they've done macro counting, they've done, um, I don't know, they've done CrossFit, like different types of exercises and stuff like that. Then all of a sudden, the new mechanism comes out and the key thing here is that the new mechanism comes out is keto and here's what keto is and the whole ad is around keto the new mechanism okay so the difference between describe the mechanism and feature the mechanism is that you have an ad that starts off with like maybe problem aware solution aware or unaware and it goes through everything and this is just part of the ad for describe the mechanism whereas feature the mechanism is the main focus of the ad the whole ad is around the mechanism we're not talking anymore about you know are you overweight or are you looking to get ripped stuff like that no we're just saying keto new diet that just hit the market that is changing the lives of others here's how keto works whereas describe the mechanism we have a full ad that starts off with do you feel tired when you wake up in the morning you know is it hard for you to go to sleep do you feel groggy throughout the day this can be signs of you're overweight you know overweight blah 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 here's why that's bad solution is you know to do something like a diet or weight loss all right one of the most effective forms of weight loss is macro counting oh you don't know what macro counting is macro counting which that's the mechanism it's macro counting macro counting is simply taking an app on your phone called my fitness pal and count the amount of calories you eat during the day simply you know what you're eating search up in their database of over 11 million foods and then type it in and boom and your goal is at the end of the day to be 500 calories less than your maintenance goal. And this is how you easily lose one pound a week. So you see, I'm just describing the mechanism as the ad gets to that level, whereas featuring the mechanism is more specifically around the whole ad being direct, straightforward to that mechanism. Again, this is like a stage three, three, four, or stage three market sophistication, where it's introducing a new mechanism, whereas describe the mechanism is like, you know, stage one, stage two in that case. And then stage one is going back to more like a stage four. So um, market sophistication. Okay. So that's mechanization. And again, why that's important. Mechanization is important because it offers that. How does the ad work? I've seen so many ads where there's just no, how does this product work? And if people don't understand how this product works, then what's going to happen is that people will not click on the ad. Now, if you are in a stage where people already understand the mechanism, you can just name it. 
But if people do not understand it, you need to describe it. And if people are already tired of that mechanism, you need to introduce a new mechanism. So like for us, we run psychology-based ad creatives using our signature process, okay? Now, that's mechanization. Let's move over to concentration, okay? Concentration, in as easily as possible to say it, is basically how we're gonna destroy alternate ways for your product to satisfy their desire. We want to destroy other ways for them to satisfy their desire. Okay, so this is simply a strategy called direct attack. And direct attack is where we pull out the negative reasons of other solutions or other products. Okay, so this is like a, almost like an us versus them style ad in that case right there, where you're pulling out the problems of your competitors or the market in whole and showing how you have a better solution, better product. Okay, now the key thing here is that you cannot name a competitor. Okay, that are a product. That's the key thing, or you will get sued. Just be fully transparent with you. So that's very big right there. Okay. So ultimately, um, give you some more information right here is never attack a weakness unless you provide a solution to that weakness. So let's say, for example, you know, uh, we have a mushroom product, for example, that gives you energy and maintains focus and stuff like that. We could hit on a problem with coffee. Coffee shrinks your blood vessels in your head which causes you to feel dehydrated and ultimately makes you feel more tired in the day after drinking a cup of coffee. Whereas our mushroom product allows you to still get the same energy, still get the same focus as our um, as coffee, but without the grogginess at the end of the day. You see how I directly attacked the problem with coffee? And I even gave some data and key points of why that's a problem right there. And then I'm destroying that with our product, okay? So I wanna basically shit on the other reasons, the other solutions, because again, you can, you can talk about solutions, other solutions, how they're bad, and how your solution is the best solution. Or you can talk about other products in that they're also looking at. So for example, I could do a solution aware ad that's talking about how all these other problems, like all these other solutions are bad for these reasons. And then a product aware ad could be talking about how all these other mushroom products are bad because they don't use, you know, our particular mushroom product uses the mushroom like heads basically, where the other mushroom products use mushroom like waste. And that case right there, just a cheaper form of mushrooms. We use a higher quality form of mushrooms, which is ultimately gives us more pure extract and gives you more value for your price. So the goal here is to simply look at weaknesses across your market, whether it's solution aware or product aware, and hit those particular problems across your market, which ultimately gives you a better selling ad right there, okay? Again, direct attack. Now, the key thing here is you have to have a solution for that weakness. If you do not have a solution for that weakness, then you can't do it because then, it, then you're just gonna look like an ass in that case right there, and people are gonna laugh at you. And I don't want people laughing at y'all. I want you guys making results. I want you guys crushing it out there. Now, last strategy is called camouflage okay camouflage is simply the act of disguising your ad to borrow believability okay now i'm gonna give a few different ways so camouflage they talk about it in breakthrough advertising in one way but i'm also going to give it in a more 2023 way okay because breakthrough advertising was wrote in the 1960s but these ad psychology principles has been around forever because it's about psychology it's about consumer psychology it's why these, these principles work so well so the key thing with camouflage is you're disguising your ad to borrow believability okay so let's look at different ways we can disguise our ad first off you could do a whitelisting thing where you basically whitelist um, like someone else's Facebook page on your, your ad account to where you run ads through their Facebook page. Uh, we were working with this sunglass brand. Can't really name them, but they've worked with some celebrities, okay? Um, they're actually getting sued because they're like going through like bankruptcy and shit like that. I don't know, crazy shit. But long story short, this particular sunglass brand, um, we were able to cut acquisition costs from like $400 all the way down to like $200 and at scale by simply using a, another celebrity's Instagram account and running all of their ads for a celebrity. This substantially increased the revenue for the business because we cut acquisition down by half. They were already profitable at a $400 acquisition with a $1,200 AOV, but now we cut it down to a $200 acquisition cost with a $1,200 AOV and we were able to spend significantly more money. We borrowed believability by running Facebook ads through someone else's Facebook ad account. So now it became the celebrity selling people these particular glasses, not us selling these glasses. Okay. So that's how it's one way how we borrow believability. Another way is, you know, the like organic content, for example, like when I create content on YouTube, I have to trim it up a different way when I upload it to Twitter because I want it to fit more native with Twitter. So just how you respect the medians of what you're advertising on and how you're positioning your content needs to filter with 
the median you're advertising on okay so that's just a few different examples with camouflage right there and that's ultimately honestly that's it that's literally the whole book of breakthrough advertising and and we deploy all of these principles again this was more around the uh what you call it the enhancing techniques so you know building the rest of the ad we talk about belief desire identification we talked about getting all the stuff you need to build the headline we saw we talked about building the headline we talked about which you need to put in your ad to build belief, desire, and identity. And then we talked about enhancing techniques of how to further improve, you know, the ad itself and make it more efficient. So this is pretty much everything. Um, again, this is everything that we deploy on our accounts. This is how we've literally been able to help brands. Like this one brand, we came on board with this. The most money they ever spent on Facebook ads was $450,000. And within one year, we took that brand from $1,000 per day in spend to 15K a day in spend at scale. And we helped them do 400 or we did $4.5 million in spend. So we 10 X their Facebook ad spend in 2022. And we helped them do $25 million in revenue uh, for their business. So um, we've been able to do some insane things by applying this. Um, this can be applied to lead generation, e-com, app installs. It's all marketing fundamentals, which if you understand marketing fundamentals, you realize that that's the ultimate thing. And the only thing that changes is the offer. Different offer, which for me, an offer is a product. I'm not talking about 10% off things like that. I'm talking about the product itself. All we're doing is swapping out different products, services, things like that. But we're still applying the same marketing fundamentals from there. Now, you might be wondering, Nick, how do I actually run these like how actually deploy like this on facebook side we do one campaign broad targeting with um dynamic creative testing so i definitely recommend 10x performance with dcts um, this is a video I uploaded recently where i talk about a lot of um just like how to actually run and create tests inside of like a facebook ad campaign i highly recommend going watch this video because i also link you to two other videos i want you to watch and in that video right there it's going to give you a very strong process of which how we create test and our Facebook ads within the ad account from a tactical side. This is more of the fundamental side, the higher level things that's going to make you more money. But you know, I taught you how to do, you know, basically drafting to draft up or, or like an architect. I just taught you how to be an architect to, to architect a huge ass house and like the finest thing you'll ever build. But now this video is going to show you how to actually use the hammer. Okay. And that's the problem. A lot of people confused with how to use the hammer just because you know how to use a hammer does not make you an architect okay an architect knows how to actually design articulate a house to meet all these codes and things like that so that's a big key thing here that a lot of people still do not understand which is pain in the ass but i'm helping you guys out as much as i can so i really hope y'all enjoyed this series make sure you drop a like below drop a comment below as well I'll, I'll link the parts one two and three in case you missed any and uh i really hope you guys enjoyed the series it's something that i've been working on for months honestly because like i've been deploying this whole slide deck to my whole team make sure everyone understood it and also make sure i can understand from perspective that we actually can actually like i can actually talk about it to give you guys actual experience on my side of applying it um it's made my clients a lot of money and uh i don't know i'm, I'm just happy i'm very happy for uh, the series happy for you guys because y'all gonna crush it this year and uh make sure you hit the like button hit that subscribe button for new videos every monday wednesday friday if you're looking for someone to help implement this into your business then click the link below for have nick terrio run your ads if you're looking for someone to help you coach you and mentor for you on how to implement this into your business then click the link below have nick terrio mentor you so thank you all for watching my name is nick terrio i'll talk to you guys later peace out